Hi there, are you a business owner trying to decide which voice A system suits for your needs? Then you have come to the right place. In this video, I will demonstrate you two important voice AI system that is Vapi AI and Retail AI. By the end of this video, you will have a clear idea of which one fits for your needs, saving your time and stress. We will cover everything from ease of use, cost, integrity, analytics, user interface and so on. So let's dive into the video. Let's start by comparing the user interface of both Vapi AI and Retail AI. In order to start Vapi, you can press dashboard then you will came to this page on the left side you can see overview platform voice library logs when you press platform you can see assistant phone number files tools blocks scott so i am going to start by creating an assistant for that you can press create assistant then a pop-up will comes here you can change your assistant name i am going to put it as new assistant and to quick start your assistant creation, you have four templates that are appointment setup, customer support, inbound question answer, game and PC. If you wish to start with a blank template, then you can go here and you can press blank template and you can create an assistant. Here you can see that a new assistant has been created. You can see the assistant ID here. When you scroll down, you can see model where this section allow you to configure the model for the system and inside model you can see the first message and the system prompt first message is the message that your assistant will say first and here you can see system prompt system prompt can be used to configure the context role personality instruction and so on for your assistant now let's start retail ai this is the first page of retail ai you can start by pressing login so once you have logged in you will come to this landing page here on the left side, you can see agents, knowledge base, phone number, batch call, call history, billing, API keys and Webo. And here you can see some of the invoice details and the concurrency used. And I'm going to start by creating a new agent. For that, you can press create an agent. Uh, I'm going to select single prompt agent. Here you can see that there are three different templates like health ticket check-in notification. I'm going to start from blank. New agent has been created. Here you can see the system prompt and on the welcome message you can see a wide variety uh, you can select user initiates when a remains silent until user speak first or you can select a initiates a begins with a dynamic begin message or third one that is a initiates a begins with your defined begin message so you have wide variety of uh, welcome message in a single prompt agent but in the case of vapi you can only pass uh, a defined message in first message in Ritual AI, if you wish to give a defined begin message, you can press this and you can pass this. Here you can see that, hello, how can I help you today? You can customize this according to your needs. Now when we check, uh, you can see that all the function, knowledge base, speech settings, call settings, etc. are itself in the single uh, page itself. But in the case of Vapi, you can see that all the things like model, transcriber, everything is in different, different section. Now let's talk about the provider. Here you can see that OpenAI provider is there along with the anthropic models. But in the case of Vapi, you can see that there is a wide variety of providers are there. And another important thing is the custom LLM. When we go to create an agent, here you can see that create an agent. And inside this, you can see custom LLM. If you want a custom LLM rather than OpenAI or anthropic, then you can select custom LLM. And here uh, you can enter your custom LLM URL. So the same thing is itself in VAPI also. In VAPI section, when we come to provider, you can scroll down and you can see custom LLM. And here you can pass the custom LLM URL. Now let's check for multi-prompt agent. Multi-prompt agents are used for lengthy calls and complex tasks. Here you can see that there are templates like dentistry schedules, lead qualification, or you can start from blank. Here you can see that the important thing is the prompt tree in the multi-prompt agent. Uh, in Retail AI, it, the agent builders are the single prompt and the multi-prompt. But in the case of Vapi AI, the agent builders are single prompt and block agents. Here you can see that when I press edit prompt tree, there will be different stage. So it is just a workflow. In every stage, you can mention the prompt to be worked on that particular stage along with tools and custom function. So I will show you. 
an example see this is a prompt here you can add tools and here you can add the custom function also in the case of WebP, you can see that uh, when you scroll when you see left you can see blocks in order to create new blocks workflow you can press this and you can give an give any of the name and you can select the assistant now you can press create workflow you can see that a new block has been created where you can customize the instruction and also you can customize the expected output data and you can add this another step by pressing add step and here you can uh, choose conversation or you can choose tool call or you can use workflow or you can use an existing block itself so that is the difference between uh, Rachel's workflow and WAPI's workflow this is just an overview. If you wish to create a WAPI A Assistant or Rachel A Assistant, we have made videos about WAPI and Ritter. You can check out our YouTube channel for more details. Let's discuss about speed of WAPI A and Ritter AI. Here you can see that I have created same agent in Ritter AI and WAPI itself. Here in Ritter AI, I'm selecting the model as GPT-40 Mini. I'm selecting the same model in WAPI itself, that is GPT-40 Mini. Now let's uh, test a web call. Hello, this is Mary from Mary's Dental. How can I assist you today? Uh, hi, Mary. My name is John. Hey, John. Nice to meet you. So what's the reason for your visit? Yeah, I need to have an appointment. Got it. When do you want to come in? Any specific date and time in mind? Yeah, I need to have a schedule on tomorrow 2 p.m. All right, so that's tomorrow at 2 p.m. Just to double check, can I get your full name and the purpose of your appointment? Yeah, my name is John and my purpose is uh, teeth pain. Ouch, teeth pain is no fun. So just to confirm, we've got you, John, for a teeth pain appointment tomorrow at 2 p.m. Sound good? Yes. Awesome. You're all set, John. We'll see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Don't forget to bring your smile just in case. Anything else I can help you with? No, thank you. No problem, John. Thanks for calling. Have a great day and see you tomorrow. Now, let's test Vappy. Hello, this is Mary from Mary's Dental. How can I assist you today? Hi, my name is John. Hey, John. What can I do for you today? Yeah, please book an appointment. Sure thing, John. What are you coming in for? Oh, I have severe teeth pain. Ouch, that doesn't sound like fun. When would you like to come in? Uh, I would like to come in for tomorrow, 2 p.m. Got it. John, you're all set for tomorrow at 2 p.m. We'll see you then. Thank you. You're welcome. See you tomorrow, John. According to the testing, Rachel A has a latency of 1.60 seconds average, but WAPI A have a latency of 1.93 seconds average. Now, let's talk about the voice quality of both the agents. When we come to Rital AI, you can see that the main voices are from PlayHD, LML Labs, and OpenAI. When we come to WAPI, you can see that there are wide varieties of voice providers starting from Cartesia to Tavis. Now, let's test with a web call the quality of both the agents. Hello, this is Mary from Mary's Dental. How can I assist you today? Hi, my name is John. Hey there, John. Nice to meet you. What's the reason for your visit today? Now let's test for WAPI. Both these things are in 11 labs only. Hello, this is Mary from Mary's Dental. How can I assist you today? Hi, my name is John. Nice to meet you, John. What can I do for you today? Yeah, from the testing, which I found that Rital AI have more voice quality as compared to WAPI AI, where both these are from same provider, that is 11 labs. But you can increase the uh, quality of sound by additional configuration. In WAPI, you can set up the background sounds as of office default. And when you scroll down, you can uh, increase the stability. You can customize the clarity plus similarities, style exaggeration, optimize streaming latency, and use speaker boost, etc. Here, when we come to the Rital AI, you can uh, customize the voice speed, voice temperature, voice volume, and when we come to speech settings, you can select the background sound from coffee shops, conventional hall, summer outdoors, mountain outdoor, static noise, call center, none. 
In Pappy, there is only three main options for background sounds, but Rittel Hay have wide variety of background sounds. And you can also customize responsiveness, interruption sensitivity, and you can enable back channeling, boost keywords, enable speech notification, etc. Now, let's compare the cost distribution of Wappy AI and Rittel AI. In the case of Wappy AI, here you can see different models are there. The cost is depends upon the model we used. Here you can see that the model which I have selected is GPT-40 Mini. And here you can see that about $0.11 per minute is the cost. This is the cost distribution. Wappy itself have a fixed cost that is USB 0.05, where Rattle A doesn't have a fixed cost. On the, on the cost distribution, you can see that it has a fixed cost for Wappy itself, along with the gram and the GPT model and 11 labs. So total it has about $0.11 per minute. When we select uh, another model, you can see that the cost changes that is about $0.12 per minute. Now let's check for retail AI. In the case retail, in the case of retail AI, you can see that the cost per minute is about $0.76 per minute in dollars. Here I have selected the model as GPT-40 mini. Now I will select another model. Here you can see that the cost has been changed into 0.12 per minute dollar. Here you can see the cost per minute distribution. So the pricing of Rattle A basically for voice AI is $0.07 per minute. And for WAPI, it is about $0.066 plus $0.05 per minute. That is fixed platform fee. Prices varies if prompt is long. And for phone number, Rattle A have a fixed price of $2 per month. And for WAPI also, it have a fixed price of $2 per month. Thus, we can conclude that Rittel is more cost effective, especially for complex agents and for higher call volumes. Now let's compare Rittel AI and WAPI AI in terms of integrations and functions. Both platforms integrates with external services. But here in case of Rittel AI, you can see that there's a wide varieties of functions here like end call, call transfer, check calendar availability, book on calendar, press digit, custom function, etc. But in case of WAPI, you can see that WAPI requires manual setup for similar functionalities via third-party tools like make.com, Sapier, etc. So this is considered to be as a drawback of WAPI. But in the case of Rattle AI, you can see that Rattle has an built-in cal.com integration for scheduling, making it more convenient for customer-facing roles. Here you can see that you can check the calendar availability on cal.com by passing the API key of your cal.com account along with the event type ID and here you also you can select the time zone. After passing this, you can select book on calendar. Here also you can pass the API key of your cal.com and you can pass the event type ID and the time zone. So with the help of Rital AI, you can easily schedule an appointment on cal.com. I have created a detailed video about creating custom functions and tools on WAPI AI and Rital AI in our previous YouTube videos. For more details, you can refer those videos. Now let's compare WAPI AI and Rital AI in terms of testing and analysis. WAPI offers detailed analysis and a success evaluation tool for assessing conversation quality. Here you can see that there is summary is there, success evaluation is there and structured data is there. Summary is uh, used to summarize the call. You can pass the prompt here and success evaluation will evaluate whether your call was successful. You can pass the prompt user to evaluate the call success call is whether successful or not. And when you scroll down, you can see that there are success evaluation rubrics. This will enforce the rubrics of the evaluation upon the success evaluation. Here, there are numeric scale, descriptive scale, checklist, metrics, percentage scale, Likert scale, and automatic rubric. When you scroll down, you can see structured data. This will extract the structured data from call conversation. You can pass the prompt here. Now, let's check for Rital AI. Here, in the post call analysis, here you can see that there is post call data retrieval, which will define the information that you need to extract from call. Here you have text, selector, boolean, numeric. Retail provides a simpler set of analysis, but its main feature is that test LLM. Here you can see test LLM, where test LLM feature allow you to simulate voice calls in chatbot mode, streamlining prompt testing. Now let's discuss about multilingual language. In the case of Ritual AI, it only supports 90 language, 
but in BAPI AI, it support about 35 plus language. So BAPI have more weightage on multilingual language compared to Rital AI. Here you can see that these are the language supported by Rital AI. But when we come to VAPI, when we come to transcriber language, you can see that about 35 plus languages are supported. Now let's compare in terms of fastest multilingual agent. As compared to VAPI, Rital AI is the fastest multilingual agent. Now let's test this. Here you can see that I have already created an agent known as Mini. And here I am going to select the model as GPT-40 Mini real time. Now let's test this. Hello, this is Mary from Mary's Dental. How can I assist you today? Hi, my name is John. Can you please speak in Hindi? Hello, John. Aap se milke acha laga. Kaise madad kar sakta hu aapki? Hamko ek appointment chahiye. Bilkul, zarur. Aapka pura naam kya hai? Mera pura naam John Matthew hai. Thik hai, John. Aap appointment kiska liye chahte hai? Jaysay routine checkup ya koi specific problem? Yeah, routine checkup. Great. Aapke liye ek routine checkup appointment fix tar dete hai. Aapko kis din aur kis samay ka preference hai? Monday se Saturday, subha 8 baje se, shaam 5 baje tak available hai. Thus, Rital A is the fastest multilingual agent as compared to any voice AI system. We have explored the key differences between Rital AI and BAPI AI. In terms of user interface, speed, voice quality, sound, integrations, testing, analysis, etc. If you are looking for in-depth analysis, a variety of voices and more customization, then BAPI AI will be the best choice for you. On other hand, if you need a more cost-effective solution with built-in scheduling and faster testing, then Rattle could be the best choice for you. Ultimately, both the platform has their own unique strength. So, it is important to choose the right one that aligns with your needs. Thanks for watching. Now you have a better understanding on both the voice AI system that is WAPI AI and Ritual AI including how they perform. If you are planning to create a voice AI system for your company then MSK Automation is there for you. Whether you care more about flexibility, speed or keeping your cost down then there is a solution here for you. Drop a comment to let us know which platform you are thinking or if you have any questions. Don't forget to check out our previous videos regarding voice AI systems. If you found this video helpful, then please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting videos. See you next time. Thank you.